There is nothing like music to get you in the mood. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Steffi Lane, entrepreneur, magnetism mentor, and I am really excited because it's been a minute since I've been live on video for a while and teaching and connecting. And this is actually something that in, you know, the last sprint of 2023 that I really want to commit to and connect and teach and share everything I have been learning from behind the scenes, from, you know, running a successful agency. And I'm just really excited to talk about this. So I watched this movie, um, Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, and it was such a good movie. If you have a chance, I highly recommend that you check it out. And it is really all about the mindset, her mindset, how she is uh, really navigating really some really tough things from like not being able to make her rent to, you know, discrimination. Like she's really, really going through some tough stuff and she just keeps getting so many lucky breaks. Like so many lucky breaks keep happening to her and she just like, she's like striking gold and like things are happening and shifting and she's like, wow, I'm starting to see, you know, my life change and it was because of a couple things and I still need to watch that yes definitely whoever is saying this so just so you know when you're on Facebook you have to give StreamYard permission to you need to give permission to the streamer so I can see who you, who's saying this. But yes, eight ways to have magnetic mind shifts mindset shift. So I watched the movie and I was like wow here is this woman that is you know, dealt a pretty hard hand and she's able to like one miracle after another, after another. And then what you could see and what you notice is that she has this essence that I've been learning about and I'm still like a little baby, baby on this. I'm not in magnetism, but on this aspect, I'm still learning on this is the je ne sais quoi. And the je ne sais quoi is like a French saying of like, the mystery, the mystery behind her, like what is that essence that she carries, that she holds herself. And I do believe that we can be taught and connect and embody with the je ne sais quoi. And what happens is when you're in this magnetism and when you're magnetic, things just start to fall at your lap. Like they say, you don't chase, you attract. And so the number one, first I want to go through the list, but the first thing is make friends with abundance, not scarcity. This is mindset work 101, but there is, you know, the scarcity mindset and there is the abundance mindset. And you can listen to the growth mindset by Carol Dwight. I think I'm saying her name wrong, but, um, her name's Carol something. And you can listen to that book about growth and versus scarcity mindset. But the thing about abundance mindset is abundance mindset is about seeing the glass half full. It's about seeing, okay, how can, you know, it's one of those sayings where like the universe is working in my favor and every setback, every wrong turn is actually something that is having me strive for excellence and having me learn and pivot and abundance is knowing that everything is working in your favor. And actually this summer I got a lot of reflections from people being like, wow, you're always looking at the, at the goodness of it. Like you're always looking at the, the flip, the positive flip side. And I could look at the negative flip side, but that's kind of boring. And I don't want to, I don't want to look at that. It gets, it gets old and it gets depressing and my anxiety gets up. So like really make friends with abundance. Like how can you always see like, okay, in this moment, um, there is abundance working for me. Oh my gosh. I have so much beautiful clothes. I have great food. I have this beautiful, um, cup in front of me. It's like really starting to see and seek the abundance all around you. Then the second thing is ignite the fire of self belief. Okay. This is huge. So self belief is really about how you see yourself and how, trusting the, the way that you see yourself. When we see ourselves in this negative, sad light, what ends up happening is that we end up just like, honestly, not really achieving anything and being in this constant loop of, I can't do this. I'm not that kind of person. Who, who says that I can run a business? Who says that I could have the man of my dreams? Who, who, you know? And it's like, well, you are saying that. So why not say the opposite? 
<laughs> right? Why not say the opposite? And if you're here, if you're watching the replay or you are catching it live, I love engagement. So let me know. And I want to like hear it all. I want to hear it, hear it, hear it all. And so what you're doing is when you're igniting the self-belief is that you want to get that on repetition. So um, one of my self-beliefs is that I've always been pretty thin my whole life. And I know some of you are going to be like, ah, oh, bitch. But <laughs> I've always been pretty thin. And one of my self-beliefs is that I'm always uh, active and I'm always strong and I'm always, I'm always lean. And that is one of my self-beliefs. It's always been in one of my beliefs. And I ingrain it. I feel it. I'm like, this is who I am. This is what I got. Also, a new one is I had really bad skin for a really long time. A few years ago, I can even show like some pictures like I had some bad skin. And one of my beliefs is that I have beautiful, radiant skin, a beautiful, radiant, translucent, glowy skin. So, yes. What's up? If you're if you're here, say hi. And then also I need you to give StreamYard permission so I can see who you are so I can connect with you. OK. The magic potion of positive affirmations. Okay, who thinks positive affirmations are a bit cheesy? I did for a very long time, but, and it doesn't mean like you need to be like Louise Hay and like repeat them constantly. What I do every morning is I just say one or two, two things. I'm all about less is more these days. I used to have this like very extensive morning routine. Like if you just anchor in one beautiful affirmation, like today I'm going to have a great day or today I see love or I feel amazing in my body. I am incredible and happy and joyful. Like whatever, you know, affirmations or whatever you want, as long as it's spin in a positive way the magic potion of constantly repeating that and repeating that and repeating that and saying it over and over and over again to yourself. Let me take a sip of my tea. My mom bought me these earrings. What do you think? Okay. The next one, serve yourself a daily dose of gratitude, 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 gratitude. Okay. Oh my God. Everyone hears this. This is, this is, this is the thing, right? The gratitude is the lesson, the thing that's going to open you up. But the thing about gratitude is it's appreciation and it's making notes of what you like in your life and what you are creating, what you are actively participating in, um, and seeing and what you're wanting to create. So for a, a lot of you know that I was on this luxury journey for a few years and um, at the time I was a digital nomad so my life wasn't super luxurious. I mean being a digital nomad you're traveling, you're getting sweaty, you're moving boxes, you're moving around and so when I moved into our new apartment I had to shift things around and change things around and be like okay how can I create beauty and gratitude for like a crystal or for um, my beautiful vase or for, and I started to create this in my environment. And then when it was on my outside, it started to reflect my inside. So a lot of times, especially as like yogis and healers, we focus on the inside and that's beautiful and that's great. But I do know that when you do f also shift the outside, so like if you make sure that you clean the space and you take moments to appreciate it and you love it, like making your bed, then what happens is, uh, you know, if you had your bed all messy, you're like, oh, okay, this is kind of, kind of messy and chaos. But if when you make your bed, it's like, oh, I can appreciate the fabric. I can appreciate the way that the bed looks. And then when you get to bed, you're like, oh, I'm so excited to get in my comfy bed. And there's just an immense of gratitude. And gratitude is a compound effect. When you compound the gratitude, think of like an orb. It just goes out, 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 out and more and more and there's no limit to gratitude as there's no limit to pleasure there's no limit to gratitude so you can constantly like right now i'm like i'm so grateful for going live with you, with you and connecting and being in this video space with you and the, having an amazing mic and having lighting and having a cool backdrop so you can't, you can't see my my kitchen it's it, it's it's compounding and people want to be around people that are grateful for their lives and that are grateful for their surroundings and that are grateful for their friends and also grateful for the not so great good stuff all the time. The next thing, the Hollywood technique, visualizing your success. This has been a new one for me. Visualization is not the easiest for me. 
but I actually like it a lot more when I'm walking. So you need to find the way that you like to visualize. So what I do is I'm like seeing myself in the future talking to my current self like, okay, you know, you have an incredible podcast, you have a seven figure business, you drive a G wagon. <laughs> These are the things I want. These might not be the things you want, but, um, visualizing my success. I have a healthy baby. Like I'm starting to like connect with what is it that I want to create for my future. And I'm having conversations with that. And then to take it even a step further. So let's like say the baby thing. I'm like, okay, I'm wearing like this green mater maternity dress. That was like the first thing that popped in my head, a green maternity dress. Okay. And I'm rubbing my belly and I feel really good. And I'm really happy with that. And I have like butterflies in my stomach. And so you can take that step even further. Like right now, like I almost want to cry because it's like a really beautiful thing. And actually that brings me to the point when you cry for your gratitude, if when you cry for your visualization and you cry for your gratitude, Oh, you've taken it to the quantum. You've taken it to a whole nother level, baby. Like talk about what will be interesting. So in the, my future self, when I'm wearing that green dress, I'll be able to be like, oh my God, I did it. I did it. Cause I've had those moments. I, you know, people call it deja vu, but I've had those moments where like, oh my God, I'm here. I remember I wanted this. I visualized this. I created this. I wanted that. And I'm here. I made it. It's like a high five to yourself you, you crossed that milestone. You, you, you went to the finish line with that specific thing. So let me know your thoughts on that. <sighs> Next thing, failures, the stepping stone to your castle, stepping stone. Okay. Uh, there's a term in the personal development world called fail faster and learning that failure is just part of the process. Like we fail, we make mistakes, we, we fall on our face. Like it's just part of it and it's what you make of it. And I've had many moments where I've let my failure take me down a spiral and stop myself from doing things and creating things. And you know, there's times when you, you, you pivot and you change, but then you also just like get yourself back up and I don't say you have to, this is very masculine, but you have to like get yourself up and like, okay, I got this. It's more like, you know, lick your wounds, be gentle, feel like feel, let yourself feel, and then you can move on. I got two more for you. So stick with me. Go with the flow and detach from outcomes. <laughs> so with magnet, with magnetism, with that je ne sais quoi, it is really much about this energy of the cool girl, this energy of like, nothing phases me. It can be good. It can be bad. It can be up. It can be down. It can be right. It can be left. <sighs> it's how you respond to that thing. And then when you have expectations, what they say, expectations are the thief of joy. Um, I think they also say that by comparison, but expectations if you're not clear with them, if you don't know them, if you are not communicating them, they can really, really upset you. And the, the number one wound for women, and I've learned this from Melanie Ann Lair, is disappointment. The number one wound for women is being disappointed. So notice if you're habitually walking around through your life disappointed, disappointed in men, disappointed in the patriarchy, disappointed in the system, disappointed in your government, like you know, this, these are, these are big things, <laughs> but, um, notice that and clear that disappointment and then learn how to manage your expectations. The only thing that you can continue to move and strive is yourself. So if you continue to move and strive yourself and you'll start to see the outcomes change. And so my last one, unveil your authentic magnetic self. So unveil who you are. If you are deadpan humor, if you're silly, if you're weird, if you're awkward, just be you, boo. Like just be more of you and continue to be more of you. So for a really long time, I told myself, cause I grew up, I was a yogi. I didn't grow up as a yogi, but I was a yogi. And I used to say like dressing up and being um, flashy and pretty and all that. It's just, that's very like ego things. That's very human things. But then when I got to the core of who I am, I'm a girly girl. 
I'm a girly girl. I like makeup. I like actually I don't really like makeup that much. I like clothes. I like very minimal like makeup. But I like hair. I like dancing. I like pink. I'm a girly girl. I like luxury. I like fit nice things. And I really had to be to be authentically myself. I had to ditch this grungy. I don't want to say grungy, but this granola uh, hippie side that I had that wasn't really actually me like that wasn't me to some people it is I mean if you want to be you know the granola hippie go for it we'll probably we'll probably be friends too <laughs> but that wasn't me and so I needed to like find myself and be in my authentic self and connect with myself and then I had to get rid of wearing yoga pants all the time like I had to stop I had to stop wearing yoga pants like today I'm wearing a skirt and I just feel so beautiful and I feel so flowy and pretty and fun and I feel like okay I want to go and do a, a freaking Facebook live today and I want to show up and um, if you're like ready to like really connect with your inner magnetism and you want to do this more I'm going to be doing and hosting a online magnetic leadership masterclass that will be on September 22nd and it will be inside this group, but you want to make sure you opt in because there are going to be some bonuses and you just go to stephylane.com and I'll make sure to link, put the link up for the masterclass, even if you watch the past replay. But um, yeah, this is all about really connecting with your magnetism and finding that je ne sais quoi and finding that essence and finding that fuel that will get you to attract, that will get you to connect and to get you to have a better life, honestly, to have a better life where things come to you. So thank you so much for being here. This was so freaking fun. I love you all. Kisses and I'll see you soon.